Hey, what's going on guys? It is Raj here, and today we are going to be covering what happened at today's Apple event. So without further ado, let's get started. This is just gonna be sort of like a recap. So let's go through it, shall we? So we just have these uh, nice cool animations here by me, of course. Okay, so to start off with, uh, Apple first introduced the Apple Watch Series 6 and Apple Watch SE. So with this, they introduced uh, blood oxygen monitor with some new sensors on the back, which look pretty phenomenal, honestly. And now they have a new blue and product red color for the Series 6. And uh, for the Apple Watch SE, they uh, basically uh, took inspiration from the Series 4, and they brought that display over to a more low-cost Apple Watch. And uh, what they did was is that they also axed uh, the ECG feature off of it, uh, and obviously it doesn't have the blood uh, oxygen monitoring either. Um, but it does start at a nice $279, which is nice. Whereas the Series 6, as you can see there on the screen, it starts from $399. And with the Series 6 and Apple Watch SE, you can pre-order them as soon as today, and I think they ship actually probably like by around November at this point. Um, so yeah, that is just a little bit on the Series 6 and the Apple Watch SE. So if you would like to check it out, uh, go to apple.com and go to the uh, watch section if you would like to see more information. Which, by the way, I will leave links to all of uh, the uh, like appropriate web pages as well in the video description. All right, now next up we have Apple One. Apple One is essentially a subscription-based service now that combines all of these services. So anything from Apple Music, to Apple TV Plus, Apple Arcade, iCloud, and their new Fitness Plus. Um, uh, service as well, which they just introduced today. Uh, so it's essentially guided workouts, which is really awesome, honestly. And I just cannot wait to see Apple's future in services. It's looking really, really bright, honestly. Um, so that's just a little bit on services. Again, if you would like to see more information, check out apple.com. Uh, link in the description. And you have these uh, <laughs> nice cheesy animations here. I mean, they still do look pretty cool, I will say myself. All right, next up we have iPadOS 14. So as you can see here, here are some of the uh, features coming to it, which by the way, iPadOS 14, for anybody who wants to uh, update to it, uh, for the public, it will be released tomorrow, but uh, for at least today, uh, the final version of iPadOS 14 and iOS 14 was released to developers, uh, the final public version. So that version will just be coming out to the public tomorrow. Uh, but as you can see here, we have app sidebars, pin conversation and messages, top hits and notes, uh, reduced noise and reverb in voice memos, uh, set default email and browser apps, which is nice, compact calls UI, uh, we have the widgets, of course, the redesigned ones, uh, new emojis, uh, scribble and shortcut palettes, uh, smart selection, handwriting conversion and notes, circle to select, which is awesome, depth API, on-device dictation, messages, inline replies, widget smart stack, compact Siri UI, uh, touch and hold to add space, uh, mixed Chinese and English uh, handwriting conversion, paste handwriting as typed text, ARKit 4, app clips, data detectors, toolbars, compact search, redesign picker uh, for photos and videos, uh, all new actions, uh, menu and notes, scribble, which is a big one. Uh, and uh, on-device uh, transcription. So really all of these uh, and more are just some of the amazing features in iPadOS 14. And I just cannot wait to honestly download it on this thing. It's going to be awesome. And there's some nice cheesy animations there as well. 
All right, now moving on to the iPad 8th generation. So this was the update to Apple's lowest cost iPad. Uh, obviously, it's still above the iPad mini, but uh, it essentially got a new A12 processor, and uh, its design language has pretty much stayed the same. So really, the only thing that has changed about this is that, uh, at least for the most part, that it's just gotten a new A12 chip, which it has been upgraded from its A10 predecessor. So that is a pretty nice uh, and healthy upgrade, actually. It's, I believe, about 20% faster, or actually, no, not sorry, not 20%, but it's like two times faster than uh, the A10 was, which is awesome. Uh, and it starts at 329, which is actually pretty awesome. All right, now some more cheesy animations. All right, moving on. The 2020 iPad Air. Now, this was a huge announcement. This one was huge. So, in terms of its new features, it has the Liquid Retina display, the Apple Pencil Gen 2 support, so it's now on the same caliber as the iPad Pro 2020, uh, as well as the 2018 iPad Pro. Uh, obviously, it has iPadOS 14 that will be shipping with it. It has a 40% faster CPU, and get this, it has the A14 chip, which is insane, honestly, for a tablet like this. Uh, it has a 12 megapixel camera minus the flash. It only has a microphone. Uh, it has a true tone display, P3 wide color, 60% faster LTE, landscape stereo speakers, kind of like the iPad Pros uh, from 2018 and 2020. In fact, no, it's like all of the iPad Pros. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, Touch ID built into the power button. Yes, I said that correctly. You guys heard me correctly. Built into the power button. That's awesome. We've never seen that on a low-cost device like this before. Uh, we have smart folio covers, of course, that are brand new with it. It has support for the 11-inch Magic Keyboard, so the, the current one I have, which is phenomenal, has five new colors, 100% uh, recycled aluminum enclosure, and includes a 20-watt USB-C power brick. It can last up to 10 hours, which is insane. Uh, has Wi-Fi 6, but the colors are space gray, gold, uh, green, uh, sky blue, and uh, that's honestly pretty awesome for all of those colors there. Uh, and it starts at just $5.99, which is incredible. So now, without further ado, here are some more uh, cheesy animations, if it will uh, load, that is. Looks like it's still going. Yep, so just a little bit on the slower side, it seems like. All right. <laughs> yeah, so it's just going a little bit slower because I uh, made it do that. And there we go. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like. Also, comment and subscribe if you are brand new to my channel. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.